This tutorial is part of a YouTube playlist. You can access this and many more of the tutorials in this course. If you do like this YouTube playlist and you want to access the whole course, you can do on Udemy. The link to the YouTube playlist and YouTube course is in the video description. Now that we have created some tables in our models file, we can now start thinking about actually making these models that we've defined into actual tables in the database. We could now just go ahead and use the basic tools in SQL Alchemy to actually migrate our models, actually convert our models into actual models into the database. But it's always better practice to use a database migration tool. Now, there's a few reasons why we would want to use a tool such as Alimbic to manage the migration. So what I mean by migration is to analyze the changes we've made in our model and actually then implement those changes in our actual database. So we are effectively migrating the changes we made in our models in our models file and migrating those changes into the actual database in the database. So there's many reasons why we might want to use tools such as Alimbic. So Alimbic is a, a lightweight database migration tool for SQL Alchemy. Alimbic allows us to define database migrations as Python scripts that describes the changes to be applied to the database schema. So these migrations that we create can include operations such as creation, altering or dropping database tables, columns, indexes and constraints. And this is going to be better understood with a little diagram. So we have our models. So we've gone ahead and we've created some models. Cool. Uh, so we created, for example, the, the category table. Okay, so that's um, one of our models as a class. So what we're going to do now is utilizing uh, Alimbic, Alimbic, that is going to provide us a few tools. So what's going to happen, first of all, is we're going to scan the, the models within our project. There may be many models within our project. We may have many models um, defined for different apps we might be developing within our application. But of course, at the moment, we just have the one models file. So the first step is that we go ahead and we scan for changes within this model. Okay, so let's call this step one. So we scan for changes. And then what happens from that scan is a file or a migration file is created. So we create this uh, migration file. So on this or in this migration file, it basically in Python language is a description of all the changes um, that we need to make in the database. So think of it as a record of all the changes um, that we need to make in the database. And then what we can then do uh, utilizing SQL Alchemy is we can go ahead then utilizing SQL Alchemy to translate that into SQL, SQL language. And of course, that SQL language can then be passed uh, to our database to perform the actions on the database to perform the, the changes on the database. So the benefit of using a migration system is that when we go ahead now and maybe make some more changes to our model, say that we kind of, for example, we, uh, up, we update um, say a, a model name, or we update a field name, for example. So we create an update. And the idea is that then we create a new migration file. So a new migration file is created, um, detailing all the changes that are made. Now, the question is, how do we know there are changes made to our model? Well, what happens is Alimbic can scan the models, it can then check it again, so it can scan um, for changes, it checks it against the known changes that we've made from a previous migrations. If it sees any changes, then it knows what changes have been made and it can then go ahead and create a new migration file detailing all the changes, um, new changes that need to be made in the database. So that can then be converted into SQL code and then performed on the database. So this process is automatic. Olympic can automatically generate a new migration file by scanning, like I said, our models and then checking it against the migration files. That way it can determine if changes have been made to create a new migration file. 
Now this is a fantastic way of controlling or version controlling our database because as a developer we can look back at the changes we made in the database. We can utilize this migration system to actually roll back. So if we make a change and we think actually that didn't work, well we can just uh, remove that change uh, and what will happen is that it will then revert the data back, base back, well it will revert the database back to the previous state uh, for example. So we can remove this change if we don't like it, it will revert the changes and we can then go back to this um, migration when we knew that everything was fine. So it has rollback support. Ultimately, using a database migration tool such as Alembic, it will provide a structured approach to database changes. Okay, so let's get back into the project. Uh, first thing we probably need to do is install Alembic. So let's just make sure that it's installed. So here I am on the root directory. If you are in the FK commerce folder, don't forget you need to type cd dot dot slash to get back into the root directory of our project. Right, so make sure you're in the right directory before you run this command. Well, you don't need to be in the right directory, but we're going to set it, the requirements or freeze and update the requirements file. So let's go pip install. And this time we are installing Alembic, Alembic, Alembic. So let's go ahead and have a look to make sure that we are installing the right package. So on the Python package index, I've typed in Alembic and it returns this. So this looks like the official version. You will find a whole bunch of other tools related to it. So you do need to make sure that you are downloading the right package. Okay, so this is the database migration tool. So it was updated um, quite a long time ago now. So let's go ahead and copy that. I say a long time ago, as of recording, it's probably around about six weeks ago. So it is well maintained. Right, so let's just get rid of that. So let's pip install Alembic. Take a couple of seconds. So once that's done, we are in the root. So we're going to go ahead and pip freeze and then add it to our requirements file. So it should now be uh, updated. Good to go. I do have a strange feeling that I need to install something else, but Let's just continue. So let's go ahead and CD back into our project FK Commerce. Right. So let's now implement Alembic into our application. So first of all, let's just check out the the config. I don't think there's anything that we need to add here. We have already defined our database connection string. Uh, so that's all good to go and that's all connected. So I don't think there's anything we need to add there. All good. Right. So let's go into the our core section and then the initialization file. So there is a little bit of work for us to do here. Um, and then it hits me and now I remember what we need to install. So let's go back. So cd dot dot slash. Uh, okay. And then now what we need to do is pip install. I'll quickly show you in the Python package index. What we're looking for is flask migrate. So that's going to help us integrate Olympic with Flask. So Flask migrate uh, 4.0.5. That looks good to go. So we're going to install Flask migrate. Like I said, that's an extension that handles SQL Alchemy database migrations for Flask using Alembic. Okay, so that's going to make the whole process a lot easier to work with and integrate all of those packages together. All right, so let's give that a go. Okay, Flask migrate. Okay, so now we have that in place. Now let's go back. Oh, we, let's just CD back into our project. Okay, so let's go back into the initialization file. We can now set this up so that we can migrate. So from from from, from Flask uh, migrate. Let's bring in some tools. So we're going to import the migrate functionality. So what we need to do now is create a migrate instance. So let's go ahead and do that. So db um, migration equals equals migrate. Okay. So we create an instance ready for us to actually run a migration. And then we can now in the initialize extensions here, we can initialize that. So db uh, migration dot init uh, underscore app. Let's go ahead and pass in our app and our database. So that's SQL Alchemy, of course. So we're just connecting everything up there. 
So ready, ready for us to actually make a migration. Now at this point, what we will need to actually migrate is access to the models. So what we're going to do here is add an, just temporarily before we start looking at blueprints, we're going to import core from core, the models. Okay, so that just makes the models available here. So it knows what models to actually migrate. Otherwise, it won't be able to find the models. So at the moment, you can see that there is a, a yellow underline. And because we're not actually, um, we're not actually using them, as it says here, we're, we're importing them, but we're not using them necessarily or referring to them in our code. Then what will happen if I press save, it will be removed because obviously we've set up our project for that in our settings. So to avoid that, what we can do is I use the hashtag uh, no QA and then define, I think it's F401. Yeah, there we go. So now when we press save, it just gets missed. So it won't get checked at all by our formatting or linting tool. So that will be good for now. So like I said, eventually we will, we will remove that and add some blueprints. But for now, we need to just incorporate our models in so they are available so they can actually be migrated to the database. So I've gone ahead and updated our diagram. Um, you can see that I've added Flask Migrate just to indicate the fact that this puts together or allows collaboration between SQL Alchemy and Alimbic. And you can see then that allows the migration um, options or provides the migration tools. And in addition to that, we've also now added um, the models. So when we create a new Flask instance, our models are also now available in our Flask instance. Okay, so now we're ready to migrate models to the database with SQL Alchemy and Alembic.